biggest fan. I will always love Mary. If it wasn't for Mary J. Blige, I wouldn't have got through a dark time. So I'm always love Mary. Man. Yo, hand me those papers over there. Oh my God, da da do. Somebody please say it ain't so. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Docs Daily. There's been a lot of confusion about what's going on between 50 Cent and Diddy. If Diddy was Batman, 50 Cent would be the Joker. And why is that? And a lot of people saying that if Diddy was Batman, 50 Cent would be the Joker and Harley Quinn would be Mary J. Blige in this situation. And I know that sounds far fetched. But when you look at the beef between Diddy and 50, they're just rival pimps. And a lot of the women in 50 stable used to be in Diddy stable. And every now and then, Diddy find one of his horses enjoying the luxury of a rival pimp. And they feel like they want to duke it out. But Mary J. Blige hit 50 with that mama juice, allegedly. And he's loving the sauce. The same type of juice Diddy been enjoying for years. And it got him feeling real good, baby. Being around Mary J. Blige got 50 thinking that he Diddy. And he can't stop and won't stop. But the only way he can really get to the top is if he take out the competition. And there was a bunch of people willing to help this man with this plot so he can make this documentary that he's working on as of right now. 50 Cent announces documentary on Diddy's alleged sexual assault to benefit the victims. He's doing it for America. But the reason why he would treat a project like this like charity is because he knows if Diddy's out the way, he's the biggest piece on the chessboard. Mary J. Blige providing information, pillow talking, whatever this is with her and 50 is not in the best interest of Diddy. And for young Miami to be on BMF just goes to show for the right amount of money, 50 can have you in his pocket. For those of y'all that don't remember, no. For those of y'all that don't remember, it was a time when 50 Cent was beefing with Cameron, man. And the dip set was really holding it down in the streets. And before you know it, the dip set dipped on cam for 50 and everybody was confused he's been doing this for years he has tactics to make your bestie flip and turn into your enemy if he did it with Jim Jones damn it I'm quite sure he done done it with Mary J Blige we are about to get into this news all of this is going to be alleged allegations and speculations and chefed up just the way you like it. We even got a little bit of zesty for y'all zesties out there, man. It's going to be an exciting ride. So please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification button because I really do appreciate y'all. Reggie, get that set up so I can give everybody a shout out real, real quick, man, because we got to hurry up and do this before people... Uh, forget to hit that like button. So just go ahead, do that, and do that. Okay, we good. Let's go ahead and give those shout outs, man. Let's let's do this. Yeah, come on. Let's get it in for everybody. Y'all still there? Okay, cool. We got the last dabble. What's up, man? RDM Food Adventure Solo Dolo Nina Anton West. What it do, dog? With Swagger Mink. Brian M. Yo, man, you've been rocking for a long time. We appreciate you, brother. King Greens is holding it down like a real king right there. We got Solomon Slevin, daughter of Eve and hate of Lilith. We don't be hating on nobody around here, but we got a hater in the building. We got G Genetic, Nika Willis, Tara Bennett, the spiritualist Carlos Pokemon and everybody watching the video. I got so much love for y'all, but we got to get back into this, man. Mary J. Blige played on power as a ruthless 
drug dealing queen pin madam she basically played diddy's mother on this man show and who would know diddy's mother better than mary j blige they're saying that she been giving him material for this script all along even with ghost and eminem and dr dre he was getting all this shit from mary j blige man but before we continue to talk about 50 y'all gotta understand 50 cent is a black guy that been around Dr. Dre for years. Oh my goodness. And when's the last time you ever seen something like that, man? Usually people have something really messed up to say about Dre and then they go their own way, except for Eminem. Snoop Dogg don't rock with him like that. The Dog Pound don't, nobody from Death Row rock with him like that. The game don't rock with him like don't nobody rock with Dr. Dre like that except for Eminem. And this should tell you something, man. Tupac has been resurrected and he repented for what he did to Dr. Dre, because if he could do it all over again, instead of rolling with Suge Knight, he would rather roll with Dr. Dre. But instead. Let's let's talk about it, man. Rewind it. Because I know it sounds like I'm talking crazy. But y'all got to feel me on this. There's a possibility that 50 Cent is possessed by the spirit of Tupac Shakur. And when Tupac came back as 50, he didn't expect to get shot nine more times. Allegedly, that's what they talking about out here in the conspiracy theory world. Because once upon a time, Tupac and Mary J. Blige allegedly had relationships. So to see 50 Cent with Mary J. doing movies and she kissing him, acting like his mama, I wouldn't be surprised if he was possessed by the spirit of Tupac Shakur. Look at this show. I watch people that were stars by Henry, by Henry. Yeah, Henry kicked it. And I'm like, what the fuck? The grandson. The grandson kicked it. I'm sorry. Well, Jack. I do I do it. Look how she she pushed all up her she pushed her 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 belly all on this man. He talking slurring talking shit. He talk they in the background talking about that henny done kicked in. Fifty trip Mary tripping and fifty tripping at the party. They got their hands all over each other. They just won't stop, man. Look at this. Fifty can't keep his hands off of Mary J. Blige after getting tipsy in Greece. Bigger fucker, we we not even in America. Hey, maybe bring your ass over here. I'm tired of playing with you, girl. You remind me of my mother. Who knows? He probably shot the computer. Like, don't be talking about my mama, man. But her belly, her breast, her, her poochie, her coo, all that is draped all over 50 Cent, man. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But when it comes to Diddy and the loyalty of the people within his circle, y'all thought Gene Dill was talking shit. Imagine what Mary could allegedly be telling 50, his arch nemesis, while they hugged up and doing business deals and buying houses and cars. By giving her that role, he basically tricked off on Mary. But he wouldn't be the first one to ever do it. For the people that didn't know, there's a rapper by the name of Conway that gave Mary J. Blige his damn chain off his neck at a club. And it was smooth sailing ever since then. Oh my goodness. He came in the club, he seen Mary J. Blige, his childhood crush. And she's grown gracefully and aged gracefully. Mary J. looked better now than she did in the 90s. Oh a booty done plumped up out the blue. And all these dudes is trying to live out that fantasy, man. You can't tell me that when 50 got around Mary, he didn't think of the possibility of living out his fantasy, man. And this is alleged, but I'm just saying, y'all got to see this real quick. Conway right, okay. walked in here with all types of shit on his he neck. He's going crazy. He lit the, the whole room up, and Mary said, I, 
always wanted a chain of that thick. Right? And, then, and then Swiss said, hold on. <laughs> then he went over to Conway, and then he came back, and he put the chain on Mary's neck. And, and I started screaming and crying, and, started, and the rest is history. And no. what, what am I do? What am I do now? <laughs> no, but, but this is the queen. When the queen, this is Mary. 100%. She, she 100%. saved so many queens' lives. Okay, this is wrong on so many levels, but I'm going to break it down as fast as I can. Mary J. Blige spotted a sucker. And Swiss Beats went at him like a dart. And bought the nigga back to Mary with the chain. Oh. Grimy New Yorkers. But this guy is from Buffalo, New York, and he out there with them sharks. And Angie Martinez, she wanted to jump in on it like he did something noble and something grateful. But the truth is, he tricked the bag. Or he dropped the bag on Mary before he even shook her hand. Because she acknowledged him. And while they in the damn camera talking about it, they don't even give him the grace to be in the damn camera shot. Until Swiss turned into the little for a split, little for a split set. They don't even want, he not even in a circle. Swiss got his back to him, his shoulder is turned. Mary ain't even standing next, but he want to be there. So they, they hit him with the Jedi mind trick. Brooklyn style, baby. And Mary said, I always wanted a chain of that thick. Right? And, then, and then Swiss said, hold on. <laughs> then he went over to Conway and then he came back and he put the chain on Mary's neck. And, and I started screaming and, and crying and, started, and the but, rest is history. And no. like, what am I do? What am I do now? <laughs> no, but, but this is the queen. When the queen, this is Mary. 100%. She, she saved 100%. so many queens' lives with her yeah. artistry and her music. If Mary asks for something, you, you, take you better. Why is Swiss cut him out the picture like that? That's cold. You doing a live, you recording, you got them all in the camera. You made sure both of their faces were, when it come to Conway, he flipped went on some light skin shit. He, he didn't even want to crop homie in the picture, even though he gave, you went over there and he came back and gave, you got everybody else in, the, you dirty mother. You better do it ASAP, <laughs> okay? And for all you young bucks coming up, it's called paying respect. We better know. And the beautiful thing about and, and Don it, Poo got something to say. Respect. That's one of the realest things I've that's ever seen. That's what I said too. But I want to let you know right now. That's one of the really things I've ever seen. Thank you, Swiss. Wait. Give me your pretty wonderful dress to me in the Oh yeah, the same night, same night, same night. She didn't even let him get close like that. While she wearing his chain. Look at the distance she's keeping between them. No grinding. Not like how she was up on 50. And that's cruel. You figure this man gave her so much bread. But the reason why I even pulled this clip up is to inform y'all that Mary J. Got that power. And that's why he put her in the power universe. Because there's men out there that will look. Mary kept herself up so good. They accusing her of living in Cougarville, man. Y'all seen how Dr. Dre had her all in the studio. And how Michael Jordan couldn't keep his hands off her butt. Hold on. Yeah, no, Michael Jordan. He was squeezing. He was patting on her booty. He was cuffing. He cuffed the booty. He did everything you could possibly think of with her booty. And he a millionaire, billionaire. She was not pushing him back. The same way she draped over him is the same way she he smacked that ass and it looked good. They looked good together. They was Googling Mary J and MJ sex tape. People wanted to see it, man. Them big old basketball hands smacking on her basketball booty. 
I hit the replay a couple of times. And if Michael Jordan was getting play like that, then that explains why 50 got the same type of titillage on his body. She got her hand on his chest like he daddy big bear. Like, that's right, daddy. Like, you let them know what's going on, boo. He paying for everything. And she went broke a couple of times, and now he gave her an opportunity. She found her a pimp daddy with a bag, and she got to do right by 50. And the only reason why Lala Anthony... And look, we're going to talk about Diddy, but y'all got to understand who 50 is, man. He's a highly concentrated energy source, man. He's a freaking cancer and he got to feed off of people in order for to have motivation. And he's eating Diddy alive with the motivation from a woman that stole his heart like Shaka Khan did. Hold on, y'all. 50. I need to see this because y'all think I just be talking. He got a thing for older women. Look, think about it. If Vivica A. Fox, a D-lister, can ride this man's coattails for years, and she's an older woman, way too old to be dating 50 when they was dating, Shaka Khan actually had a second wind. He need to stay off of BBW.com or what? Look, if he like older women, I that's all good. But, bruh, I ain't going to lie. And y'all going to say, say what y'all want to say. But Shaka Khan really don't look bad. Oh my I probably would have kept it on the low, but 50 said, fuck that. You look better than Nicki Minaj. And a lot of people will argue that he ain't lying. And she got that gown on, but y'all not knowing. She put on that coat to cover her big booty. Her butt crazy. Oh my 50 no. I think I did a video about it. Did I say 50 Cent and Shaka Khan are getting married? I do apologize for doing shit like this back in the day. But you know, sometimes you got to put a wig on the pig to get a gig. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was also sexy. Like how Michael Jordan was smacking on Mary J. Blige's ass. Yeah, I say go for it, 50. She's just an older Nicki Minaj. Oh my <laughs> Anyways, we got other stuff we got to talk about, man. <laughs> we going to be here all night because it's some stuff that I need for y'all to see. And it's been blowing my mind like, wow, 50 Cent is really juiced up off of Diddy's ex stable, man. These women, they don't been around all the, they get around you and they got you feeling like you Tupac because she used to be with Tupac back in the day. Like, damn, I'm laying here with the same girl Pac was with. She like the Mary Marilyn Monroe of the ghetto, man. I had Mary. Meth had Mary. We all had Mary. And not like that, but they be feeling they self. Then with Diddy, Casey, JoJo, all them, them niggas back in the day, Joe to see. Oh I been with that girl. I been with me. Yeah, I had her too. It puts you in a conversation. But the thing about it is 50 Cent been breaking up homes and marriages. And if he willing to do stuff like that, what was his plan for young Miami? Y'all need to see this, man. Because I didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like it. Because he talking about doing a documentary about Diddy. What about this home record shit he got going on right here? Lala Anthony knew that she couldn't do better than the big mega money basketball player, Carmelo Anthony. But somebody gave her hope. 
gave her an opportunity and gave her a future after VH1. Or was it MTV? What was it? What was it? it was the the white version of 106 in Park she was doing. What they used to call that back in the day, I forgot. And people were saying she was Ludacris's sister. Come to find out, her and Ludacris had a relationship. It was kind of weird. But 50 gave her another spark and gave her opportunities and gave her roles and taking her to the red carpets. Without a Carmelo Anthony in sight, I can be something without your basketball money. Yeah, you're doing good. You're selling shoes. You're doing all this stuff, but I'm not about to sit at home while you out there. I'm somebody too. Look at me. I'm somebody too. And 50 was the man waiting at the door with his hand extended for Carmelo Anthony's baby mama. Little fucker. And that Cobra clutch is cold. But he said he a PIMP, but the way he pimping is casually wholesome. He'll take a already made woman, I mean seasoned, established, made, solidified, and put her to work. And make a bankroll off of yo lady. He worse than that dude on Dead Presidents. That was with the dude. Hold on, what, what? The dude, let me pull it up real quick. And I promise we got other stuff we got to get to, but I'm trying to make a point. I think his name was Snooky or some shit. <laughs> some shit like that. No, his name was Cuddy. Not Snooky, man. About to pull up Jersey Shore looking for Snooky, man. It was Cuddy. And he was getting some cut from his baby mama. And he was okay with it. Yeah. This is 50 Cent in a nutshell, man. He with your girl, your baby mama. He giving her money. And if you try to cross him, he gonna put a gun in your face. Because he liked the way her candy taste. And you gonna be in your feelings like Diddy is about him being with Mary J. Blige, allegedly. They're saying that the reason why all this shit started happening to Diddy is because the power show and the BMF show started running out of sauce. And, you know, people love a docuseries, especially when it has something to do with uh, people that we all know. So the BMF thing was going well. Big Meech is in jail, so you ain't got to pay him. And his brother is on board. So 50 figure, hell, I need somebody else. So who else going to take a plunge? Who else going to go down like BMF so I could make a docuseries? Similar, I could make a billion dollars. And when you got Mary J. Blige, this is all alleged. But when you got Mary J. Blige in your pocket. And Diddy looking like a steak dinner. And all 50 rap about is robbing and stealing and robbing. And see, he's a, he going to jack you for any and everything you got. But he moving different because now he's in the corporate world. He'll take your legacy and make it his legacy. He wasn't even in Detroit or had nothing to do with them dudes when they was out there hustling. And he only did this despite Supreme and the Supreme team. Look, man, if you're from Queens, right? No, switch that up. If you're from Queens, you figure you come up around the most ruthless, notorious criminals you could do documentaries about. But he decided to do the BMF to spite all of them dudes in New York that was trying to take his head off when he was coming up in the game, man. Now he want to double back and do a documentary about Diddy, the man that refused to sign him when he had a contract for everybody at that time, but he didn't want 150. Hold on. Y'all need to see this. 
Diddy could have signed 50 Cent to Bad Boy, but passed on the deal. Ooh, the sting. The spite. The rage. The nerve. The plot. The revenge. I'm back. You tried to play me. You dissed me. You you made me feel like I was unworthy. He been feasting and eating off of Diddy. All of this time, he's been this man's motivation. When he was doing push-ups and getting buff for the Get Rich or Die Trying album, he was thinking about how Diddy curbed him. And how he going to take all his chicks and take his money to how he going to rob him. And now Diddy is a wounded deer. And guess who coming in for the kill? And he's right on time. But the conspiracy theorist is speaking. According to these alleged highly classified documentations. That Mary J. Blige is giving 50 lovely mama vibes. And he's loving every moment of it, man. He's working on the documentary and people thinking that he just going to piece some shit together with the iMovie and make it real quick and snappy. But he taking this to the max. I'm talking about actors, assault victim actors, reenactments or insinuations. He not doing it for no fries. 50 Cent claims the proceeds from his upcoming documentary, Sean Diddy Combs, will go to victims of sexual assault and scrape and more alleged victims come forward with accusations against the bad boy for life rapper. Now, this where the game get deep. 50 Cent been doing what he been doing by the books. Diddy was dirty macking. 50 pretty much been handling his business on the straight and narrow he comes with a check and they come to collect but the thing about it is young Miami is supposed to be loyal to Diddy the same way like I showed y'all Jim Jones was supposed to be loyal to Cameron when she did this this was a clear sign that somebody Done got in her ear, man. If her acting ain't good, why would you hire her to be an actor or actress? I mean, the reviews were so bad that people all online was talking about how horrible young Miami's acting is, man. Look at this, man. She had to respond to the critics for her BMF acting. He didn't he didn't bring her there because she had skills. She probably he probably had the time of his life with Diddy's girl. And he was hawking her and hounding her. And all she had to say to Diddy was it was just business. It was simply business. It was money. Young Miami has been cutting her teeth and Acting with an appearance on the latest episode of BMF. However, critics were quick to bash her performance. I never seen it. Y'all want to see this? Yo, make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe and hit that notification button. We about to watch this clip. But I got to give me something to drink. So y'all stay tuned. It's only going to take a second. And did I let y'all know? I really do appreciate y'all for tuning in. Okay, let's go and get that set up. All right, here we go. Let's go.
that's when he decided that he had to blackball Diddy to get some material going. That's when he knew he needed Diddy. He needed Diddy's head on a platter in order to keep his career going. He figured bringing in young Miami would quench his urge to crush Diddy's neck so he can get another check. But this chick just inspired this man to come with dirty, dirty allegation tactics. If he can get a hold of young Miami while she's still with Diddy, don't you think he can get a hold of Cassie when she's far removed from Diddy? If he can get Mary J. Blige to come and hug up on him at parties or whatnot, I don't think he can get in touch with Cassie and she will be willing to kick it with Fitty. He had Rick Ross, baby mama, come up to New York when they was beefing. Oh, man. All I'm trying to say is it's easy for him to get anybody to switch sides, switch sides, switch sides. Hold on. 50 Cent must pay Rick Ross baby mama five million in sex tape. He had a sex. He made a sex tape with this man, baby mama. And she ain't even his type. He did it as an act of war. Can you call that revenge porn? Oh my goodness. Isn't that what they accusing Diddy of? He got a tape blown, smut and her out. She la, 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 all on the tape. Rick Ross like, oh Jesus. Like, damn man. He looking at the video like that hurt my pride. That hurt my pride. I did this nigga take a tape, skeet on the face, sent it to my house. I put it in, man. I watched the tape. He had my baby mom bent though with a sausage in the mouth. Oh my Something gotta give. You can't banging people, baby mamas, and sending them tapes. When I see him, I'ma get with Diddy. I'ma call up Diddy. We gonna see what we gonna do about him, man. Diddy, what we gonna do? Just chill out, Playboy. I know everything he doing. I got hoes in his camp. And they be flip-flopping and shit. They been flip-flopping ever since Shug Knight and Tupac. Everywhere I go, I see the same hoe. I know Mary over there. As soon as he start beating her ass, she gonna come straight back to me. She been doing that for years. She got around Dre and things weren't going around. Who you think she came back to see? Puff Daddy. But 50 is a whole nother animal. He's a beast. He's a machine that feeds off of people's emotions and insecurities. He's a cancer. Oh my it's his way or the highway. And all these women on board, like Mary J. Blige, even young Miami. Lala Anthony and all these women that are supposed to be loyal to other men just find themselves sitting on 50 Cent's lap. This time, he's going in for the big bucks. And Diddy's legacy is about to be his the same way Big Meech's legacy is all 50s. People don't even praise Big Meech for BMF no more. They praise 50 for putting BMF on the map. Hey man, 50 Cent and Mary J get flirty while showing each other love. Like, oh, 50, like Mary. They smiling at each other way too hard. Next thing you know, the tongue's coming out their mouths. Like, I love you. Take me, big papa. Take me. Take me. 50 Cent is currently on a European tour. And during his latest stop in Greece, he bought out Mary J. Blige to perform some hits. The pair put on a amorous display 
as caught by Gilly the Kid in a series of clips shared on Instagram. Look who I got with me tonight. 50 Cent said introducing the legendary Mary J. Blige. She sang her song, I'm Going Down. No, she did what? So that's how they do it. That turned him on to the max. She holding that mic all close up to her mouth. She getting down on them knees with them knee pads on, singing the song. Said, man, we had so much fun last night. I got Gilly lit, 50 pinned in the caption. Stay away from unhappy, unsuccessful people. They bring negative energy. Stay positive, stay productive. Trying to make it sweet and classy. But people didn't see all of that. They going back and forth, giving each other flowers and shit. They just out here masquerading like a couple. Look at this. I gotta explain later why I did it. That's it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, look, this is real shit. You don't never, you may never see us again. Well, wake the up and let's get party. Is all day. Why won't she move back? She's swinging her booty all over in his entourage. She he can't even do the show because Mary. Wow. But just like with the Shaka Khan situation, can you really blame him? Because I mean, hell. Mary got yams. And she out there swanging cheeks all on stage. I mean, he could get somebody younger, but hell, she married Jay Blige. Look. And she's publicly showing her affection to this man. So I guess he figured, hell, whatever. In his mind, he's the man. He's better than Diddy. She rolling with his entourage. She and his squad. She ain't with Diddy right now. He the man right now. It's a great motivational boost, man. Yeah, he's thriving off of it. He even wanted to do a documentary about Diddy. After this shit fell through the bag. Look at this, y'all. Wait, wait, run that back one more time. Like some black exploitation shit. She looked like everybody big mama. They put a rag on her head with a bad, a stinky wig. And then she played that shit like a pro. I don't know what the fuss is about. What they want her to do. Be Viola Davis. She played a hood rat with a bonnet. What, she didn't pop her gum enough? She ain't have enough gloss on her lips? What's, what's the big fuss all about? She did absolutely fine. As a bust down. With a D-boy. Fuck y'all. Was she supposed to like do an epic drama Denzel type of performance to make people happy? I don't understand what the the fuss is about look what she got on man her slap was accurate he felt it on to the next scene she was waiting around the door for that she showed up to the set they told her to go in there put the bonnet on they gave her the script 50 rubbing his hands together like Birdman because he know he got her in his pocket in a major way. But it did kind of backfire a little bit. This type of reviews will make anybody feel insecure. And maybe that's what 50 wanted from her to create insecurities so she'll keep on coming back. 
Like, I've been to acting school. I've been working on my gig. And they saying that I'm getting better. And whenever y'all do another show, hit me up. Because I I promise I bought books. I'm taking this acting seriously. Because these freak offs is hurting my back. Y'all thought Diddy was the puppet master. But he's been outclassed, outshined, outwitted by 50. And it's all in the news. It makes you wonder, did 50 orchestrate this whole event of allegations and people coming forward and secret tapes and burner phones? And it could be a network of people in play. And if you ever seen Power, shit like this went down all the time on the show, man. It'd be a connect that they got to get rid of. They do business with him for a little while. And before you know it, his acquaintances are sitting at their table, feeding them information. Then that's when they come up with the plot. And just when you think it's all over, the boss get away. And it take a while for them to work up enough to catch his ass again. And the next time they get him, it's brutal. 50 been working at this Diddy dude for years, ever since the beginning of his career. I was listening to Get Rich or Die Trying earlier. And there's plenty of songs he told about, take that, take that. Sending direct shots at Diddy's head, man. And this is the reason why. Diddy could have signed 50 Cent to Bad Boy, but passed on the deal. Diddy once had the opportunity to sign 50 Cent to Bad Boy Records, but ultimately passed on the offering fifth of record deal. During a recent sit down with DJ Vlad, G and the member Tony Ayo recalled the meeting that took place between Diddy, 50, and himself. The meeting occurred during the early aughts and at a time when fifth was the hottest prospect in rap. A lot of people don't know the story Yayo revealed. Listen at this, man. 50 went to Diddy for Bad Boy. A lot of people don't know that. We had a meeting, and it was crazy that Diddy didn't sign him. I know that was one of the biggest mistakes of Bad Boy. And you know, the Kenneth Supreme McGriff situation. A lot of people were scared of Preem. 50 wasn't. Yayo contends that 50 and G units various beefs in the streets. So that's what it's all about, man. That's what it all connects to. People were shading 50 because of his beef with Supreme. He couldn't get a deal nowhere. People didn't want to work. Even though he was hot in the street, had mixtapes galore, the streets was loving it. People wasn't going for it. So when he finally got on, all them people that shitted on him, he shitting right back. And they're saying that he's possessed by the spirit of Tupac Shakur. I'm going to have to do a whole nother video on that because of the way he's moving and the people he aligned himself with and how his whole life is turning out. And Tupac was all about black power. And then he came out with the show Power. It's just too many correlations and similarities and Diddy is being haunted the most by 50. So you just never know. They both have these relationships, these odd relationships with their mothers and Mary J. Blige is just fitting to help give them the motivation to be better. Her pep talks is like no other. She got that savory voice. If Mary J. Blige is telling you, you gonna make it. Your ass gonna make it, man. I need to see this real quick. Damn it. Too bad. See, what do you wait one second, y'all? Let me get this together. It's only gonna take a second. Oh. Up here, right here. Whoa, 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 oh, yeah. What's that? What's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh, my God. What's up, God? Hold on, man. Y'all gotta understand what's going on. Y'all, y'all not getting the big picture. Mary J. Blige and Method Man. You're all I need to get by. 
They like the Ashley and Simpson or some shit like that. Mary J. Blige and Method Man is like Rick James and Tina Marie for hood classics, man. And 50 found his way into their circle. They come from a different school than 50. <clears throat> but 50 is running the show. Because whatever mistakes they made coming up, he ain't got around to that part yet. So he's the money man. And with Mary J. Blige being there. And with Method Man being there. And once upon a time, he had Mace signed to his label, man. Oh, man, hold up. <clears throat> he been knocking Diddy holes for years. For years. <clears throat> Every time Diddy think he got a bitch, here come 50 knocking one of his hoes. And he's tired of it. But this time, <clears throat> if he really did knock Cassie and get her to talk and spill info so he can make a freaking documentary about Diddy, that'd be the biggest, biggest spiteful, crabbish tactic I've ever seen in my life. Hold on, man. The biggest crab is tactic, and I wouldn't put nothing past them. Especially when you talk Mace out of retirement of pastorhood, man. That's how you know this man game is off the charts, man. He talked Mace into coming back as murder Mace just to spite Diddy. And when Mace was on G Unit, he ain't had nothing but Diddy diss tracks. He was going at Fabulous. He was going at the whole Bad Boy family. You would have thought Tupac went to Death Row, but Mace went to G Unit. And that's when shit started getting corny around there. <clears throat> yeah, that shit got played out once Mace went over there. They was doing good. Till May showed up. And the pastor was spitting murder raps. Hold on. In a minute. Say so you doing the same shit. 50 Cent calls Mace a hypocrite for calling out Diddy over owning his publishing. 50 Cent weighed in on Mace's recent message to Diddy Combs about publishing and said that he has no right to complain. Last month, Mace accused Combs was signing him to a bad deal when he was younger, and Combs now refuses to sell him back hit that publishing. But 50 said that Mace is doing the same thing to the Brooklyn rapper Fabio Form. Why is he constantly in Diddy's business, man? He just will not stop. This is the main man that he feed off of and been doing it for years. Diddy is his energy source. And he will stop at nothing until he crush his opponent. It's his motivation. It's his drive. He got a board up with Diddy face on it. All of his acquaintances. He want to get all of them. He put himself in this man's mix in so many ways. It's sort of like an obsession gone wrong. And with Mary J. Blige by his side, it's no limit to how much of Diddy's blood he can devour. The magic stick, 50 Cent and Little Kim. They was in Australia performing together. He took Kimmy on tour. He 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 wooed her everywhere they went. I'm pretty sure she had a thing or two to say about Diddy. They was mighty close. They was grinding up, but he's singing about the mat. What type of sexual escapade is that, y'all? Think about this. You do a duet called the magic stick. And you talking all that shit all every night on the mic. And she listening. She responding. Y'all up there talking that talk. Y'all got a nasty song together. You might want to reach out and smack her butt if the crowd is really feeling the lyrics. 
that's what lets you know that it's a possibility. The way they looking, it's like they naughty with each other. Every, every night they get naughty with each other, allegedly. And this is just once upon a time in his memory bank. This was so long ago. And he know that she was with them bad boy dudes. Tupac rapped about her on the song. He's a big Tupac fan. But like I said, allegedly Tupac is reincarnated. They be doing all different types of weird, evil shit in Hollywood. They don't conjured up the AI to do the shit. Once upon a time, they was looking for, they was really looking for Pac. They was signing anybody looking for their Pac. Like the game said in 300 bars, man. It's like they really found him out there somewhere in the space and captured him and brought him right back to Interscope. It's like JD's revenge. Y'all remember that shit? If you haven't seen it, it's a classic. You need to see it. Down in New Orleans, this man got possessed by somebody else's spirit. And he was out there doing that other person's justice. Somebody hypnotized his ass. And when he came out of hypnotism, another spirit jumped shipped into his body. And people didn't know why he was acting like how he was acting and why he was doing what he was doing. He was just out there living like another person, man. And they're saying that Tupac entered the soul of 50 Cent. But when he came back, he did not expect to get shot nine more times, man. That was not in the plan. But that goes to show that it's a possibility that Anyway, let's just keep on moving to the next subject because I got a bunch of stuff we got to steam through real quick, man. I showed y'all Mary J. Blige and Method Man working for 50. They work. He's their he's their employer. So when 50 come around, you got to show him some love and they some old school legends. You know, man, sometimes. People don't pick fruit until they're good and ripe. And in this situation, 50 know how to pick them, man. There's some ripe ass fruit, especially if you're an energy vampire, allegedly. This type of energy could propel you to the stars and the moons. Method Man is a a freaking legend and you're his boss. What an ego boost, man. He probably sit in the hot tub for a long ass time on the weekends, smoking a cigar. I gave Method Man a job. Not only did I give Method Man a job, but I got Mary J. Blige working for me too. I got them on the payroll. And Meth called me earlier about his check. He sounded a little disappointed, so I hit him with an extra 5K and told Meth to keep it cool, son. Wow. You know, let's just face it 50 is an egomaniac. And he not going to stop until Diddy is completely obliterated. And I feel sorry when that happened because he he need to find another target. And ain't no telling who it's going to be, man. I figure once Diddy is off the board, his motivation is going to be shot. The whole Tupac pantheon no longer exists. How he going to survive in the era where the thugs is zesty. All of the thugs, the the murderers, robbers, killers, stealers, 90% of the time, if they young, they super zesty. 
and ready to go back to jail to be with them boys, with them boys, with them boys. Okay, listen at this, y'all. I know they keep it real. Any vices that you would like to tell everybody about? Look, I'm on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you got shot? I was in shock, I was just moving. What kind of love are you? You ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> So I know you don't do a lot of sit-downs. This means a lot. Yeah, this show's yeah. gonna be big. Because there's no one who won't accept the offer when they know it's you. I love that. I love that you have so much confidence in me, and uh, I'm, I'm, I have confidence in me, too, now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to tell the world how I see you. I see you. They went and did their own Carisha, please. Do y'all see this shit, man? He sat her down and did a Carisha please like Diddy did with Young Miami, man. He can't help himself. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. This is what I need to see. This right here. When it comes to nature, y'all stay tuned while I get this set up, because I got to make my point, and it's only gonna take a second to get this all right for y'all. So in the meantime, make sure y'all do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and don't forget to show me some love. Okay, here we go. Look at this man. Out your bag, but you can get back in it though too. Okay. It's hot to her, so. What is it about me that you like about me? Um, like, why are you fucking with a city girl? I mean, because you're authentic, you know? <laughs> you're like one of the realest people I ever met, you know what I'm saying? And you're authentically yourself, and you're a great mother, and, you know, a great friend. You just have a good time. He said she's authentic, y'all. Authentic. Is the nails authentic? Is the hair authentic? Is the breast? Is any of that shit authentic? And he paid for it, so he should know. And that's why people knew he was slipping and they snatched all that. They don't want her sitting next to their liquor play, boy. They don't want city girls drinking their shit if they had to choose. <clears throat> that's real. They don't want this to be the new Kool-Aid on the shelf, man. She lowered the stock of their brand. They wanted, they never approved of her to be their spokesperson. They never wrote her a check to represent their brand. So why do you have their liquor draped all across her shit like they sponsoring it? You can't trick off the company on this chick just because you feeling her? <clears throat> they had to pull the plug because of Young Miami. I've been saying this for the longest. This is how I feel about it. I don't know that for a fact. But to see how 50 and Mary is making moves and planning for the future with this power universe and Diddy just so happened to take the biggest L ever and 50 jumps in speaking about he's making a documentary. Does Mary approve of that while they flirting with each other? All in public. He draped on her booty. She's swinging ass. And no, just look, she's grown. She could do whatever she wanted to do. But we seen her. Look, she's out here. Play the video. She's trying to get him to come back. And he's doing the show. She's like, come with me. Come with me. Come back. She tried to bring him backstage, allegedly, while he was doing his song. She couldn't get enough of him. She trying to... And then got mad when he wasn't coming back there, man. Hell. There's a few things we need to talk about, and I don't know if y'all ready for it. The industry has changed. It's 2024 and it's game over for a lot of old pioneers. 
they can't simply let these people get old and pass because if they do that, their legacies will only be profitable for their families. And they want a person's legacy to be profitable 15, 16 million different ways. If Tupac would have lived to be an old ass man and he passed away, his legacy wouldn't have went to his mama. It wouldn't have went to none. Of it would have went to his family. If Diddy would have just went on and retired and went away as old ass man, his whole inheritance and legacy would have been left to his family. If Bill, the list goes on, man, it's all about snatching that wealth away so it won't be generational. But 50 trying to figure out a way to where he can leave all his money to Eminem's kids. You got people like that, man. People that be working in these people houses, mopping their floors and washing their dishes and shit will give their last to Miss Betty and Mr. Clemens. Y'all hear them stories from your great great grandmother and stuff back in the day, how they just love the Jetsons. They treat her like family. She baked cakes and shit. They have her make a turkey and she come clean the whole house and serve the food with the rag on her head and all that. There is a certain caliber of people that hang around Dr. Dre for years and never have a, a real conflict. Tupac said he couldn't even do a. He didn't even want to be in the studio with Dr. Dre. Tupac didn't even want to do California Love live or none of that shit. Get me to go away from this guy. Pac wasn't having it. But Eminem, that's his man's. And this all tie in together because once upon a time, Eminem was talking big shit about 50, about Diddy at one time. And people was like, why is Eminem so mad at Diddy? Oh, y'all. Eminem apologizes to Diddy for dissing Revolt TV on Leak Song. Said I was heated. So if M don't like you and he got toy soldiers out here in these streets and he's a mega Tupac Shakur fan. Shit, he could have been the one to push the button. Eminem has done the unthinkable and apologized for lyrics on the leaked song, which sees him diss Diddy's revolt channel. What did he say, man? He said, F revolt. Y'all are like a effed up remote. Now I get it. Why our buttons broke. Hold on, wait a minute. That was overly corny, man. And Eminem wrote that. No wonder the shit was unreleased. Fuck remote. Y'all like a fucked up remote. Now I get why our buttons is broke. Come, come on, that shit was booty. He trying to say Joe Buttons is broke because of revolt. And um, damn, I ain't know Joe Buttons was broke like that. Y'all are like a fucked up remote. And the buttons is broke. Like you can't even get shit out of it. Like you trying hard, but you keep on pushing them buttons and letting you squeezing on Diddy. <clears throat> And nobody's getting the bag out of this situation. The verse also fires at Eminem's former friend, Joe Button. Now everybody know he's broke. Hold on. Inverse, this is what Eminem said, man. He said, I agree with revolt. This is an unnecessary distraction. I never meant for that verse to be heard. I was that's um one of his publicists or somebody writing that shit. A PR uh, somebody came in and put together a nice little message for, from his staff. He meant what he said. Joe Buttons is really broke 
and Diddy out here pimping holes and making them look good in the process. Hold on. Wait one time. Wait. Pull this up real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Hold up. Eminem's feud with Snoop Dogg ended when Dr. Dre suffered a brain aneurysm. So what type of evil was they conjuring up towards each other where Dr. Dre got the short end of the stick? And y'all see them devil horns he throwing up and Snoop Dogg is basically the devil. So whatever Harry Potter shit they had going on, Dr. Dre got dealt with the blow. As soon as Dre went to the hospital, that's when they started copping, please. Like, oh, no, I don't want to go out like Tupac. No, that's not why I signed the record deal. Shit's getting too real, Snoop. Got to end the beef. No, I don't want to go out like Biggie, too. No, I don't. No, I don't. I want to be your friend. We could be friends. Do this every weekend. Like I promise I don't want to see death. I seen Dr. Dre go down. I don't want to be next. I feel you, cuz. I felt the same way when Tupac got hit. Oh, Lord, it can't be me. Oh, we got to end the East Coast, West Coast beef. We can't be doing this, cuz. Oh, Lord, I don't want to go down like Dr. Dre. No. Oh no, I won't do it. I can't, I won't do it. He got scared as hell when he seen Dr. Dre laid out with his eyes rolled in the back of his head, man. And while all that was happening, Diddy was cuffing another one of Diddy's chicks. She showed up looking good, smelling good. She got that look on her face like she trying not to laugh. She trying to stay serious for Diddy. Like, I swear I ain't doing nothing, boo. Oh my goodness. She want to laugh so hard, like, yes, bad. She want to stick her tongue out like Megan Thee Stallion. But she not trying to get in trouble with Diddy. Because the last time she did something goofy, he bought out an old bucket of gassy shit, allegedly. Like, you going to take that, take that, take that. He had a spoon with a chef hat on. Take that, take that, take that. Come on, man. You got ratchets bringing their babies to the premiere. And shout out to whoever that is. No disrespect to the baby, but that wrong place, wrong time. She had to bring her baby. And I know 50 wasn't feeling that. I tell shorty she can't work here no more. God can't. Little rug rats running around here. You're like, no, baby, that's not your daddy, baby. That is not your come, come over here. Like, da, da. Like, no, no, that's not your daddy, baby. Like, da, da. And you can't be talking about, get the, get the people kids off the screen, bro. We can't be talking about people kids. Okay, look, you got people bringing their kids. Then you got pregnant chicks. So you know they was doing some fucking behind the scenes. They was breeding at the same time they was filming the movie, man. On the set, all sore and shit, like, gotta make this money. Like, I need you to say this and that. Okay, I'll say this and that. I will. I will. I say it. I say it. I say it. I need you to say it like this and that. Okay, I will. I'll do it. You. I'll give you the money, man. You got the money, honey. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Whatever you want me to say, I'll I, I do it. Allegedly. Yeah. Hey, when you got money and power like that and people are willing, look how they all in the picture. They mouths. He looked like he put them together before. Like Legos. Like, I make her do that and make her do that. They like doing that. 
Rick Ross' baby mama and one of Boosie Badass' baby mamas. He put them together and made a sandwich with they hoes. She was a wholesome school teacher struggling trying to make it until 50 scooped her up for a revenge porn tape, allegedly. <clears throat> Hold on, that's her. Look, 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 look at her face. She in the sex tape with a bad weave. He didn't even get her hair done. And she all in the tape stanking. Like, yeah, got three kids already. Like, watch how mama do it, baby. Hold on, wait a minute. Why would he do that to this MILF? She got a bad wig. You shouldn't, you shouldn't even have touched that woman. 50 Cent offers to pay six million to Rick Ross, baby, mama. <sighs> he more messier than Takeoff could ever be. Not Takeoff, but Quavo. Rest in peace to Takeoff. But he messy. Got caught up. Did he ever pay her the money? 50 Cent off of Rick Ross' baby mama three mil that she turned down. God damn. Oh Said three million. No, I need more. Like, damn, bitch, you act like we got kids. Oh, I get all this money, baby. Make sure that nigga broke. You want to play games with me? I, you know where I'm from. Tell Big Mama them what I do. <laughs> hey, man. All because Rick Ross was hanging with Diddy. 50 went at his head. Like you want to give him a record deal, but you ain't want to give me shit. You want to hide that fat motherfucker, but you ain't want to sign me back in the day and he a police, he the police, nigga. You working with the police, nigga. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hold on. Hey, wait, we got to read this. <clears throat> a lot of people were scared of praying 50 wasn't yayo. Contends that 50 and Gion is various beefs in the streets and within the industry were ultimately the reason Diddy backed away from taking on fifth in light of the notorious Biggs passing just a few years ago prior. Diddy was hesitant to have fifth as a bad boy artist, man. He was like, yeah, yeah, we can't sign you, playboy. Um, That's what he said. Diddy said. It's too much. It's too much drama with the Biggie stuff and all that. He continued adding, we had a meeting with Diddy. It was me, 50, and he took the meeting out of respect. In regards to the timeline, the meeting between 50 and Diddy likely occurred sometime around 2002. As Yale notes, it happened following the attempt on Fifth's life in 2000. Uh, this was after How to Rob, just after he got shot. And he had all the mixtape shits on Smash. D-Dot was working with 50 on How to Rob. Yayo also remembers Diddy, whom 50 had ghost written for in the past, giving him advice about three things every rap star is destined to have. Oh, shit. 50 wrote for Diddy before. Way back. It might have been g Depp's Let's Get It. One of those joints, Yayo said. What I'm saying is, out that meeting, Diddy said three things about rappers, bank accounts, bitches, and Bentleys. We didn't have any money at that point, but it stayed on my head. And later on, I had what he said. I had bank accounts, bitches, and Bentleys. And that's what make you a target. I've been shot at numerous times, but I said those prayers before I leave the house. Hey, that's exactly what makes you a target. And that's the worst advice he could have ever gave to them dudes, man. But it is a hell of a motivation. And that's why I said for the longest, Diddy was 50's motivation. 
He survived off of thoughts of this man and taking over his spot and being Diddy. Why you think they call him Fitty? Oh because he's a protege that turned into a, a, a beast, an animal that will not let him go. The ultimate obsession. And he got Mary J. Blige on his arm. If 50 was a vampire, Mary J. Blige got on limited Diddy juice that he can survive off of for years, man. She giving him the recipe. With this movie shit, he's making hits. The BMF show lost all of its sauce. The power show, people not interested and what's going on with Tariq. Fans would be happy if Tariq got deaded off and they started somewhere new. That will bring people back if they just took Tariq and took him in the back of the alley and that was it. And let somebody else steal the show. But since Diddy went down, they could scrap all that. They could flip the power universe on its head for the near future. I believe they already in production and casting, looking for a Cassie, looking for a biggie. They could, they don't even got to go back that far. They could keep it at right where it's at right now. A playboy mogul with a weird 50 shades of gray sexual appetite. A sick, twisted bastard that finally gets his day. Have him get away with wild shit for like three seasons. And on the fourth season, they could probably stretch it to seven seasons like Snowfall. And on the last season, did he get the fucking hammer? The girl Cassie from the first season come back and sue the shit out his ass. People gonna stand up applauding. That's right, you go, girl, you deserve it. We seen what he did in season one and two. We seen all that shit. Did you see all that shit? He had her doing in season one and season two. She deserve every last bit of that money. I don't like the part when the girl that played Mary J. Bly started messing with his enemies. That was crooked. She was with him since the 90s, and then she went with this man, and they actually did a documentary. That, that was wrong. But that's some real life shit. Mary, Mary, Mary. And I'm not saying that she can't do business with whoever she want to do business with, but why you got to go and be with this man's rivals? How you going to have ties with Diddy and Suge Knight during the East Coast, West Coast beat? I still don't understand that. Hold on. How you going to be signed or doing business with Bad Boy and Suge Knight is your manager? Why they got Heavy D dressed up with the thugs? The hell? And Andre Harrell in some Timbo boots. And Christopher Williams with the leather j- <laughs> That's when that hip hop era first came in and they wanted everybody to look like a damn hoodlum. And it was the worst gimmick marketing tool ever. But people threw their money at it to incarcerate Black males make you an easy target. You can't come out the house with some shit like that on. Whoop, whoop. And everybody had that shit. They was locking up people wholesale. And these are educated, uh, raised in great households. Heavy D, he's sitting up there looking like the number one goon. Heavy D dressing like a robber. Like he gonna pull the Mac out on you and take your lunch money. Hold on, is that me? Hold on, this man, he got a woman and a female sitting on his lap. What the fuck? Like I got one this way and one that way. I'm the Mac baby. Like homie, you can't sit where Mary is sitting. Why is he sitting there? 
Got a man on this side, a female on that side. Come on, let's take the picture. And Diddy, you stay back there. I'm mad at you. I'm gonna fire you, Diddy. I know what you did. You trying to take all my artists and make them your artists. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a, You wouldn't even know anything about the game. Well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have no hit records. Heavy D would still be rapping that bullshit, and Uptown Records would be old school. I've been doing this before you even started making music, man, young man. This is my show. How about you go get your own show? That's what I'm going to do. And when I come back, your ass going to be working for me. And Mary was this man's artist. And while she was beefing with Andre Harrell, she was doing songs with Diddy. I... Damn, Mary, you, where's your loyalty? So it's dangerous that 50 Cent got Mary on his arm because whoever got Mary, that's going to be the person that's going to blow. They had no business being lovers or whatever the case is, but y'all got to understand the dynamic of Mary J. Blige, Casey, and JoJo. No, we ain't got time for that. What I'm trying to share, get that shit out of here. What I'm trying to share with y'all is the fact that Mary J. Blige was done wrong by a guy that wasn't even on her. They, they had no business even being together. And she realized her worth. She figured, what's the point of being loyal? I could do bad all by myself. No more drama. She's been singing about the shit for years. And I love Mary J. Blige. Don't get it twisted, man. But they saying Mary J. Blige had a train ran on her at death row. Oh my goodness. Suge looking back like he snatched that ass. Like, mm -hmm. he and his cell right now having fantasies about how him and Tupac had a good time with Mary J. Blige. This is all alleged allegations, man. I don't believe none of it. But people be out here talking. Uh, it's Storm Show. She got on my page earlier today and, and created a fake um Instagram page that said Jaguar Wright crack pipe what you need to smoke when your life has uh gone down the drain or some shit i screenshotted it i'm gonna text it to you Damn, and what? it had the page had two followers um and the first post was oh please you can't take nothing she say seriously and for the people that do man i'm just gonna pray for you some regular random account sent her a message and she's talking about this Mary J. Blige. <sighs> I always wonder why she couldn't keep a man either. The bitch can't read. <laughs> she, she ain't getting a since she was 36. But did she she know how to read now, right? She I don't still... fucking know. The, it took 36 years to get a GED. <laughs> she was bragging about it in one of them interviews, I think in Vibe magazine, talking about, yeah, I might have just got my GED, but I, I wear $35,000 boots. Bitch, how do your boots got a higher IQ than you? God. No. So you mean to tell me that Mary J. Blige, is, they trying to say she's slow? It don't get no lower than that. Hold on. Mary J. Lodge. G. Put it in caps. G. E. D. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold up. She said, I finally got my GED and now I'm going to university. 
man, that sounds like something a, a slow person would say. I got my GD. Now I'm about to go to the, the university. It don't work like that, love. R&B royal Mary J. Blige will add yet more pages to her already inspiring story after announcing during an untelevised segment of her good, but they didn't even put that shit on TV. That she recently received. They look like God bless her heart, man. They cut the shit from the damn. It didn't even come out. Damn. Hey, at least she got her GED, but you figure if you in a music industry, you need to know some shit. Education is a must, especially with them snakes around there. Who was hand, who was her manager to where she was with Suge and Diddy and wind up with all these people that's beefing? I just follow the beef. That's all you have to do. If you want to be successful in this game, you just got to follow where the beef is because the more beef you have, the more they're going to make sandwiches. It's enough for all of us, but if you could just follow the beef, if you could stay in the mix of it, no more drama for me, but if they got drama, you know what, man? It's the stroking of people's egos. That's It's like they give them tips. You know what I'm saying? They give them tips. But stroking their egos. Can you imagine you beefing with a mother God day and his girl is sitting on your lap? That's instant gratification. Kudos and a pat on the back. It really make you eat. It'll make your weekend go by so good. They bad boy killers got red Bloods everywhere, gang. They out there living that California, yay. And then you got the head bitch from New York, the queen of hip hop and R and B, oh the chick that did the song with Method Man, Jay Z, Biggie. She's New York to the core. The Marilyn Monroe of New York is in your hotel with them with your homies. They respect him and got admiration for that man. And you can't say nothing about Suge because the people that seen it couldn't even believe it. Mary J. Blige. With the homie Suge, the same chick. Every other video, every other city we go. And no disrespect to Mary, but the reason why people even speaking on this is because how 50 going to be the number one Diddy hitter? And he just so happened to have Mary J on his arm, man. It's looking like a setup. And by having Young Miami on the BMF show, that's looking like a setup as well. Everybody's switching up. We seen Diddy. We seen 50 do this to people before. It wouldn't be the first time. But this time. Wait a minute. I just thought about something. We gonna have to um dive a little deeper. Pull that up real quick, man. And hand me, hand me those papers, bro. Yeah, we gonna need all that. I need to see this. Cause um, a lot of people there that night. A lot of people on the, the Diddy Entourage bandwagon. Got Mario, whatever his interest is. 50 Cent is like another Tyler Perry on the low. Because the people he be casting be borderline Tyler Perry ish. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, I just thought about something.
Tyler Perry battles for a $3 billion BT business with Shaq and other black stars. They're saying that 50 cent. Oh my God. They're not going to let me read it here. That's fucked up. Or is it right here? Maybe I can get it right here. Hold on. Why is acting up? Look, Tyler Perry, Shaquille O'Neal or 50 cent who will walk away. So they tried to pull their money together. Diddy, 50, Tyler Perry, Shaq. They tried to get up them billions to buy BET. If they did, who would really control the narrative of those shows? You mean to tell me Power and uh, Tyler Perry Studios and all that? Did Power Universe and all that shit was going to go to BET? But Diddy, the one with Revolt, what we thought had revolt. So what type of takeover are they planning, man? 50 Cent reveals why he no longer attends parties thrown by Diddy. This isn't the first time he discussed spending time with the bad boys founder. Said that's why I don't. Let me see what this say, man. It's not this. That's why I don't be going to them puffy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. What the fuck you talking about? I mean, look, if you're into that, you're into that, I'm fine with it. To each his own. I'm just saying this ain't my motherfucking kind of party. I like it. It's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' bathroom. When shit like that is going on. Wow, this is bad. The main narrator of this man's destruction. You haven't seen nobody else come out and say anything about Diddy. It's always it's always 50. There's no other rapper that came out except for Uncle Murder. And Uncle Murder got bombarded by 50 Cent praises for even doing the rap or whatever. And for the people that never heard the rap up. Uh, for, or for the people that have heard it, y'all got to let me know what y'all think about it. Is y'all feeling it or do he need to stop it? 50 Cent co-signs Uncle Murder coming after Diddy and his allegations on the wrap up 2023. So even if somebody do take a shot at Diddy, 50 is going to support it, condone it. He going to make sure he's in on it because he has an interest if you got money and you doing your thing, why would you be so invested in this man's downfall? Unless you had something to do or you orca, you played a part of why y'all trying to get Diddy out the game? Probably because it would make great television. The R. Kelly situation generated probably a billion dollars by now. That surviving R. Kelly was some big business. People bought Lambos and mansions with that R. Kelly money. So a heist like this. And you got people in his camp that's willing to put in the work. Who's to say that Gene Deal ain't on the payroll? They could whenever they do the movie about Diddy, they can call up Gene Deal to get some scripts. And he got a million kajillion stories to provide them with evidence. They got people willing to put in the work on the Diddy documentary, man. And now it look like it's a go. You can't do no shit like this if a dude don't even have allegations about him. If you plan on hijacking somebody's legacy, you got to put all the pieces to the puzzle. And it's looking like if 50 is willing to meddle with people that have been in Diddy's camp in the past and even in the present, it's no telling how low he would go to get close to this man. This shit is obvious. Well, to me, it might not be to y'all, but I feel like this guy had it in for Diddy for the longest and he's finally starting to put the pieces together. 
I don't gave y'all the evidence. I don't show y'all how I felt about it, but it's up to y'all to decide what y'all think about it, man. And I would like to say, I got so much love for Mary J. Blige. And um, I never made this video to talk bad about the queen. But it just make you wonder. And it'll have you scratching your head. Look at this. Confident, genius, super intelligent, amazing man. You are an amazing man. And we look up to you so much. I mean, you've done what every rapper, you know, or every <laughs> rapper want to do with you. You transition very well, and it's amazing. How do you... She been in the game before he even thought about being a rapper. And she told that man that we look up to you. He, he done dropped a bag. And I know you thinking, Mary got her own money. Mary, she, she don't need no money from nobody. Mary, she got her own money. She don't need nothing from nobody. I know that's what y'all thinking. But y'all need to see this. Wait a minute. <clears throat> okay. Mary J. Blige says her ex-husband, Kendu Isaac, left her broke and with low self-esteem. Damn. Oh Mary J. Blige had to pay her ex-husband tens of thousands of dollars in alimony monthly. Blige says the marriage left her broke and not feeling the best about herself. And this was written in 2022. So Mary playing paying tens of thousands in alimony monthly to a man and she ain't got enough money to she got to get that bag. And here come 50. With the door open with a, a Cheshire cat smile. The opportunity was available. Wasn't you cool with Puff back in the day? I got your bitch, nigga. I'm pretty sure he would say something like that. I was listening to Get Rich or Die Trying earlier, and I, this man is a menace. He been a menace. He's intimidating. He make people like Puffy shaking his boots. He probably have nightmares about 50. He fall asleep. He see 50 standing there with the Mac, and he just wake right back up. This man had Kobe wife and Mary J hugging and smiling at the same time. And they both look willing and no disrespect to Kobe's wife, but come on now. And he know it. He know it. That people are willing. He motherfucking Michael Jordan. And I wouldn't be surprised if Hold on, man. Do y'all see the chemistry? He got his hand on her dead smack on her booty. He got his hand dead smack on her booty and broad daylight. So what y'all think is going on over here, man? Wait a minute. Can't put nothing past nobody, man. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh. Not only is he gripping on booties. But he kissing. He gripping and kissing. 
with a grip. He laid his mouth on her in front of a live audience and she don't look too proud about it. If it was all cool, if it was all friendly, why is she mad? Why is she looking like Megan Fox? What attitude, man? And why do you have to hold his hand, honey? Why are you on stage holding hands with Michael Jordan? I don't give a damn what the occasion is. Kobe got to be somewhere furious. Like I ain't been gone for a month and you already out there holding this motherfucker's hand. You can't get off the stage without this man holding your hand. What the fuck is going on? He got a Is you. You need him or some shit. Look at his face. When they going to stop hugging? And Mary J. Bly is waiting for her turn. Y'all see, man, look at this shit, y'all. She waiting for her turn. <sighs> oh my goodness. Like, bring some of that sugar over here, daddy. I sure need it. I'ma wait right here. Like, you see me with this blonde hair. I'm right. You can't miss me. I'm right here. She waited for her sugar. And boy, did he give her a handful. Man, look, I'm not insinuating nothing. Even Dave Chappelle, he got jokes for days. They all that. He just drinking and laughing it up. Like, let's give a toast to the living. Like, Dave, that is not funny. Like, you're going to go to hell for that, Dave. I'm just saying, we're all here, you're here, we're here. Some cold shit. Rest in peace to Kobe. They out there, they, man. All them pleasantries. My wife, you better get your, get your goddamn hand off of Michael Jordan. And y'all, y'all kiss. How many times he kissed her? Like fifty fucking times. That's all he do. How many kisses do he get? And she ain't shut that shit down yet. The first kiss should have been uh uh, and walked the other way. Rest in peace, the cook. Look how he's just sitting there watching. Look how he watching. Oh and she look back at it. He's standing there like he bought the man. She stuck her booty out on stage. He waiting for her. Why is he? Why is he waiting for her? Man, this ain't got nothing to do with what we talking about. But I'm getting mad for Kobe. You see me a couple of months from now with a mean jump shot? Call the exorcist. If you see me with a Lakers jersey, walking down the street, dribbling between my legs, call the exorcist, man. Because I'm getting mad by even just, look at this. Booty sitting on fat, holding hands with Michael Jordan. He looked like, they look like, okay, I'm done with it. We got to talk about something else, man. And that just goes to show that they, they willing to, if a man got some money, they willing. I don't give a fuck. Forget about the past. They concerned about the right now and the future.
And I hope they wasn't no swingers. No, no, no I don't, well, I don't know. I hope they wasn't on that time because who knew they had that much chemistry f for each other? And his wife playing Jane and he show up with Jessica Rabbit and he looking at her and he, what the fuck? She probably was looking at, they probably had a chemistry the whole time. I don't know. Shit, ain't nothing holding them back now. Hold on. What machine gun Kelly doing? Is that really Megan Fox? Oh my Wait a minute. Look, we gonna get back to 50 Cent, but I'm on a high investigation right now. Hold on. He looking like get your hands off my girl dude like Jordan you gotta cool that shit down they're kissing and hugging on there he he lurking in every picture he probably had her mistaken for his girl there ain't no telling what type of drugs he was on yo excuse me Jordan I'm, I'm gonna need my girl back that boy lurking in every picture. Okay, but back to this though. It's a possibility that Diddy has been blackmailed, blackballed by 50 Cent. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mary J. Blige played a part in it as well. These scripts sound very similar to all of the people he worked with in the entertainment business, a little bit of dry snitching going on. And if he was able to take Supreme about the game, he feel like he's invincible. He's a veteran at getting rid of OGs. That's how he came in the game. Pissing off OGs. He wait till they get good and old and start popping shit. Like, watch your mouth, young man. Like, it ain't nothing you can do to me. Hold on. Y'all need to see this. Yo, switch that up. There you go. <clears throat> 50's first one. His first one. That he knocked off of his pedestal. You would have thought. Nobody in New York. Would have went at Prem. Everybody respected him as a real one. And rightfully so. The real deal. They've been. They've been out there for a long time. And deserve their respect. But 50. Ain't got no respect for the game. And seeing how he doing Diddy. Shit. He can't even trust his own damn son. Like if I know you like I know me. And if you like me. You gonna wait till I show the first sign of weakness. And knock my motherfucking head off. He paranoid to have a relationship with his own damn son. Like as soon as I, you gonna come for everything I got if I actually build a relationship with you. He already running with the ops. He already, he ready to do his pops in for the game. They put a pistol in his hand and give him a mission. This is game over for 50. Don't let that motherfucker in your house.
Because if you anything like your daddy, man, it's how to rob all over again. The life of grime. If the situation went like this with his baby mama, do y'all think he really give a about Mary J. Blige? Oh Hell no. He's using her, dangling her in front of Diddy. And it hits a tender spot because Diddy remember her, she was the main chick with Misa out there with Suge Knight and Tupac. Now you fucking with 50. Oh Did you see his blogs? Did you read what he said about me? Do you even care? And I'm not saying she can't do business with whoever she want to do business with, but it's kind of funny that she moving these circles. Wait a minute. 50 Cent trolls Jordan over Mary J. Bly's hug. He palmed the ball. Now he and his feelings. Now he and his feelings about Mary J. Blige. They accusing her of living in Cougarville. I don't know if that's where she stay, but she looks good for her age. And what am I looking at right now? You got Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, Allen Iverson, Chris Paul, Fat Joe. And they all surrounded by Mary J. Blige. Man. She'll turn that motherfucker out. She'll turn that party all the way. And I'm not saying that she just wild and crazy like that, but man, when they start piling up like that, and they start feeling all of that energy from the 80s and the 90s. Before you know it, they're going to start pulling out their wallets and. Shit, why she's why not? She's Mary J. But I would drop a bag if I had it and Mary was there. I would probably throw some money at her like here. Oh my like, ain't this what you used to? Like, I want to make you feel good, Mary. Here you go. Bam. Hit her with like 10 stacks and give her a hug and keep it moving. Like, pay homage, pay homage. Like, y'all know how I've been getting it. He might as well just move to San Francisco and call it a day, man. What the hell is this, right? He need to live, like, downtown Atlanta. Just move down there. Wouldn't, wouldn't nobody even bother you. Like, oh, Spike Lee, totally cool. She looking like she mad because she can't get no money out of Spike. Like, mm-hmm. He don't like nothing that I got going on. Like, I tried. I'm so tired. She look like she tired of trying to get money out of Spike Lee. Like, I don't even want to talk to this one no more. She got that look on her face like she just done with him. Like, take the picture so I can get Michael Jordan over there. Get me away from this nigga. You don't do pictures like this, Mary. Oh as soon as she was getting ready to go home, the night was over. She done took all the pictures. She done shook all the hands. Michael Jordan was all in her booty. And before she could make it to her car, here go this nigga two chains with a regular degla chick. 
She probably didn't even want to speak to him. Like, oh shit. Two chains. Like he's such a uh, one hit wonder. What in the hell is Dave Chappelle doing with Jennifer Hudson? Oh, he ain't slick. That's one y'all got to look out for. And I'm on his I'm on his trail. Hold on, man. I'm on his trail. Now, let's be real, y'all. If he will bang Azealia Banks. He straight smid dashed, according to her, on his wife with the regular degula of the game. He straight womp 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 Smidashed Azealia Banks, man. So what y'all think he gonna do with J Hood? Hold on, wait a minute. Where is it at? Pull that back up. Cause he was all over this chick. Damn, I missed the page. Fuck man, I don't know where it's at. I'm gonna find it. Don't ruin the perfectly good point. Was it on the video or some shit? I don't know. Was it on somebody's IG page? And we don't lost the picture of him and Jay Hood, but it is what it is. Dave Chappelle, I'm pretty sure he don't smash plenty of cheeks. Especially if he's a, uh, was it on this page? It was, damn it. But yeah. They out there lurking in them Hollywood streets. Fat Joe and all his um his family, they got chicken wings and shit on the table. And you know they not gonna let Mary pay for nothing. Out of respect. Like Mary, you ain't gotta spend a dime. Ma, I got you, ma. You ain't gotta just party. She got freebies her whole career. The clothes she got on, they probably sent it to her so she could wear it. He's squeezing cheeks in this hand and ain't no telling what he got going on over here, man. I, I might have to do a whole nother docs daily. I, this is bothering me, man. Oh my that smile alone just lets you know that this man is frisky. With all that damn money, ain't nobody going to stop him. He literally got a palm of ass in both hands, allegedly. And and nobody and the and nobody's complaining. Nobody's complaining because that man got paper. And they not ready to collect and they may never be ready to collect on Jordan. He set the standard so high it's going to be niggas playing basketball forever. With Michael Jordan still intact, brothers ain't never gonna put that basketball down. You ain't never gotta worry about brothers not playing basketball. Well, Michael Jordan is the man. I wanna be, I wanna be like Mike. People still dreaming and wishing. They ain't never gonna wake up. Yo grown ass do not need to be playing that damn basketball. It's a children's, it's a children's game. And you are not on the playground. It's a recreational activity. And you way past your prime. Find something else to do. But they gonna keep on hooping. Shout out to the hoopers out there, man. Just run, nigga, run. 
Cursor is in the building, man. And I know that was mean, but that's how I really feel about it. I think basketball turn you into a character. It, you see the way they be walking with their backs all hunched over, walking all slow into the gym like cavemen with them damn basketballs. We got Hassan Lynn Karima Nefa in the building. Pensacola. Sisa Yafa Yezriel. Mizel Sanders. That's like if they pay people to go down the slide or some shit. Who could slide down the slide the fastest? Don't you know it'd be a sport? Be grown people sliding down the slide at the playground. Like, damn, you slid down in 2.2 seconds. Like, I'm sliding on, I'm a slider. They be in the club with bands. Like, damn, there's some sliders over there. Tracy is in the building. What do you do, Tracy? Simply a learning. We got um Uncle Diggity joining the channel. Tough woman. Um, Deidre Douglas. What do you do, y'all? So glad y'all here. Nisi Brown, Empress Koya. That's a beautiful name, by the way. Deotis Duncan Jr. Pablo. Mizzle in the building. Shifty Panther. That's what I'm talking about, man. Everybody that showed up and showed me some love. I got nothing but love for y'all. But let me just say this before I get out of here, man. Everything I said on this video was alleged allegations. And I did a video about Mary J. Blige not that long ago. And they got a whole lot of views and stuff. So don't think I'm coming back for a double trying to do Mary dirty. That's never the plan, man. I got love for Mary J. Blige. And I don't mean no disrespect. But when it comes to Diddy and he going through all this stuff, it make you question the people that's around him and what role they play and everything, especially if they was willing participants for years. And you find some of these people are willing participants with other people, even if it's Diddy's enemies and been that way for years. So why do he find himself in the company of grimy peoples, especially people that don't have his best interests at heart? Now he got all these allegations coming out the woodworks. They trying to do him like R. Kelly and your boy 50 is trying to capitalize and do a documentary. And Mary J. Blige is in the mist. Is she a part of the reason why Suge Knight and Diddy had a falling out? Was it because Mary was flip flopping and working? They was fighting for her affection. What was that all about? So many question marks. We got them at parties. They getting tipsy and grease. They, he can't keep his hands off of her. They, they all in public with this stuff. It's too much. People got questions. And I look 50, he ain't dirty macking or nothing like that. But still, he said, if I'm crying, why y'all laughing? Y'all play too much because it was a horrible scene. And 50 didn't hire her for her acting. So why did he want her out of all the people? Her name is Young Miami. Why the hell would she be in a BMF movie? Ain't nothing about her Detroit. Ain't nothing about her Midwest or nothing. And on top of that, she can't act. And it was so bad, the internet dragged her. Said, I hope you on Miami stick to music, bro. This is really the worst acting I ever seen in my life. And she still got the job. And she still got the job, man. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. I got so much love for y'all. And make sure y'all hit that notification button as well, man. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all some love before I get out of here. Please leave a comment and let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section, man. I would really appreciate that. Um, We got Derek Rochelle, Grace, Demetrius Bright, Timius Banks, uh, Ginger Smith, Shanta Stone, Diva, Anton West, Bombalese, Humble Waters. We got William Floyd, Renshaw Jones. I want to thank y'all so much for the cash app, man. And for all the people that have been watching the video, I got love for y'all. But for y'all ladies out there, I got to let y'all know. 
I love the fact that y'all pretty faces be in the comment section, man. It really make me, it really make me feel good about doing the videos because it's a lot of ducks out here, but I ain't seen not one duck ever leave a comment on any of my videos on Docs Daily. And I gotta let y'all know y'all beautiful. And that's why I risk my mother life. Uh, 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 risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I